Hello and welcome to SAT TV Week. I'm Richard Hooper. Intelsat and as a cosmos have signed a strategic agreement at 45 degrees east orbital position. The two companies will closely collaborate on the design of the ASA Space 2 stroke Intelsat 38 satellite and leverage their respective strength and capabilities during the manufacturing and operational phases of development. The new satellite will provide continuity of service for the Intelsat 12 satellite currently stationed at 45 degrees east, an orbital location which hosts direct to home platforms and provides connectivity for corporate network services in Africa. The new Intelsat 38 satellite will also provide services across Central and Eastern Europe, Asia and Africa. For Azacosmos, the new satellite offers enhanced capacity, coverage and service offerings to support the growing demands in the region for DTH, government and network services, currently supported by Azaspace One. Norsat Sinclair Technologies Division based in Ontario has executed a standing offer with BC Emergency Health Services to supply up to 16 of the company's Comshell communications shelters. The structures will be installed over the next three years to protect communications equipment in some of the most mountainous western regions of Canada, permitting emergency personnel to effectively service the residents of British Columbia in these harsh and remote environments. BC Ambulance Service provides pre-hospital patient care and ambulance transport throughout the province. Reliable communications is a necessity for the safety of residents, as well as emergency personnel when conducting operations in remote and challenging conditions, such as the mountainous regions of the province. Airbus Defence and Space has been awarded a contract by SES to design and develop SES-14, a highly innovative telecommunications satellite. SES-14 is the first high-power satellite in the four-ton class. It will be based on Airbus Defence and Space's ultra-reliable Eurostar platform in its E3000E variant, which exclusively uses electric propulsion for orbit raising, taking advantage of the reduction in mass that this technology enables with an exceptionally large payload. The satellite combining power and flexibility will have a double mission. The first will be a wide beam payload of C and KU band covering the Americas plus a link to Europe. The other payload, an HTS with numerous user beams, will combine an onboard processor with multi-beam coverage of the Americas and the North Atlantic. And finally, the upcoming CABSAT 2015 event in Dubai will examine the myriad of challenges currently facing satellite companies and regional telcos as consumer viewing habits change. As broadcasters and content savvy telcos battle to win viewers and subscribers in the increasingly competitive free to air and paid TV sectors, the race to win market share of our enhanced anywhere anytime content delivered across multiple multi screen formats is intensifying. With the value of the Middle East and Africa TV on demand market expected to increase to 132 million US dollars between 2014 18, the rapidly growing sector is increasing pressure on satellite loads and forcing satellite companies, key contributors in delivering richer TV on demand products, to expand their operational capacity. A host of exhibiting companies at CABSAT 2015, which runs from the 10th to the 12th of March at the Dubai World Trade Center, will showcase a series of innovative solutions designed to absorb the market changes and launch cutting-edge technology products to help content providers win audience share and solve transmission issues. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching.